Hello and welcome to my first share for the Creative Arts Collaboration Hashtag Poggest Art And it's Animal Inspiration Day So mine starts with Elephants for Luck So for my elephant I've decided to be inspired by the Indian elephants and these are the colors that I'm going to be using to paint my elephant that I've carefully drawn onto an index cardstock because I thought I was going to work on him differently but once my drawing was done I decided to paint it with gouache because what I had planned was not gonna work because I loved my drawing. So anyways, he's inspired by the Indian elephants and the way they decorate their elephants and dress them up for processions or special occasions. And you know how they throw those tapestries on their back with beautiful embroidery and sometimes they paint them for festivals, which I, mean, I don't think it's the best for the animal, but I do love the elegant look of the tapestries under by on thrown on their bodies when they are in processions. So that's what I've been inspired by for this piece. And I will be painting all of him with different shades of gray because I don't know if you can see because I've don't drawn on the elephant very faintly with very light pencil marks. But I've divided all of his body in different little sections. Thinking that I might go back on top of this and doodle. And probably will be applying those darker colors with the colored pens. So what I'm creating right now is a background for it. And I don't want to have it stark white. So I'm working with my shades of gray by adding some white into that other to that already great um, gouache and I'm trying to play with those shades within the different little areas that I've created with my pencil marks so I've shared a speed process of all of my painting on his body and hopefully you'll be able to appreciate the process that I went through in painting all of him. And you'll see me go back into the darker areas and add more shadows and make some of the areas darker where they need to be or um, play with my shades within the little shapes that I've created in different parts of his, bo of his body. So. This was the first um, part of creating him and I filmed it, uh, I think it was this weekend. And I've decided to film the whole process and do it in sections as I, uh, as I create it, even though I'm not gonna be doing it on the same day. But I'll be able to film it and then speed, pro speed the video up so that I can share the whole process with you and hopefully cut it into different parts and also I'll be able to work on it in throughout the different days that I'm able to do it and share it with you. So yeah, I was totally into painting all my different areas. And I love elephants a lot. I have a lot of different pieces throughout my house that have elephants on them. There's um there's some little metal and wood pieces for decoration. I have tapestries. I have different. I have a painting that has elephants on it. I just love them. And they're a symbol of luck and they're majestic and they're intelligent animals and they're beautiful. So that was my inspiration for this. And I wanted to play with um, not just a plain gray elephant. I wanted to add color and design to him. So I thought the Indian. Um, dressed up elephants would be a wonderful inspiration to work on this. And it's actually the first time, I think it's the first time that I ever draw an elephant or make a painting using an elephant. 
I mean, I, I love them and I tend to buy a lot of things that have elephants in them, but I've, I, I don't think I've ever worked on a painting or a piece where I've created an elephant. So I'm venturing into that for this um, hashtag event and hopefully he'll come out looking as lovely as I have envisioned him. <laughs> but as we all know, we have something in our heads and a vision of an, in our heads and sometimes it comes ex comes out exactly as you planned but most of the time it just evolves as you create him or the piece and in this case when i drew him i i completely changed my plan because i was planning on using tapestry pieces and decorating him with like beads and making him very mixed media and all of that and once I had drawn him onto the paper, I fell in love with all of the drawing parts of it and I wanted to keep him simpler and show the drawing and the painting more. So that's why I've decided to go with wash for my base. And hopefully I'll be able to share the whole process and he will develop into something beautiful. <laughs> I know that Beatriz is already in love with him. Every time she walks in and she sees a different stage that I'm in working on him, um, she tells me that she wants him. So this was this weekend and now I'm going to be going back and reinforcing those lies, going over um, some of the darker areas to make them even darker and um, defining some of those um, different shades of gray in order to prepare him for his next step. So you see me going back and forth and back and forth, retouching all of those different areas and working on him. And once I've become like completely comfortable with the shades that I have, um, I'll stop and then I'll go and work on the next step, which was actually not on the same day. So I worked on this one this past weekend and then I worked on other things and today I actually went back and added some color to him. So today I've been working with wash again in those tones of green and blue. I've also used a uh, watercolor white because I could not find my white wash after putting it away the other day. And I'll be using this crimson and an orange red and uh, lemon yellow to try and add some brightness to that tapestry or cloth piece that's on his back. I'm going to be using my mister today instead of my water bottle <laughs> and I'm going to be using this royal clear. Um, it's a longer thinner brush to work on those very small areas. So I started off camera basically because I did not record and I reworked all of those little lines that I had created on his body. I went over them again and make them a little bit darker to define them more. And now you'll be able to appreciate the way I had divided his body. And I'm actually going to share with you now how I go in to that cloth piece and start coloring first the background for the design with that crimson, which I added some water to, and then I mixed in some some of that and white to make it a little bit lighter and it was a very hot and long day today so I was very tired and after I came home and did everything that I had to do I got to play in my little studio <laughs> for a while and totally um, get into my painting so that's what I'm sharing in this part I went through all of those different sections that I defined as a background and added all those different shades of, um, of that crimson 
by combining some more water or white or getting it darker in some areas and just playing around with it so it wouldn't be flat. But I'm still visualizing it as a background for my doodling. So I want to try and keep those colors light so that when I go back onto them with my pens, um, whatever I doodle on top of that will actually show. And this background wash will give it character and depth and interest. So. That's what I'm visualizing. We'll see what comes out once um, I get to that stage, because you know how it is. Once you start working on things, things evolve and keep changing, and, and you make different decisions. And once you're seeing it develop, you, you start making um, changes on your plans as you see things um, pop up from the colors that you're adding and the way they react and all of that all of that interesting process that we go through but I'm so excited to be taking part in this um, hashtag for a second event and the first one was a total fun success and the group has grown a lot and a lot of us have been working hard at trying to improve the quality of the things we share with you Hopefully we'll keep growing and more of us will join this community and keep growing and sharing together. And I cannot wait to see what everyone's going to be working on. So I'm not, now I'm going to go um, back in into those petals with a red orange. And I'll be adding that orange color to different parts of the design just so that co the color spreads out throughout the whole cloth piece or the tapestry piece that's on him. And I also worked on the edge um, blue and green. So I'll be playing with those colors too. And trying to keep a lot of the cool tones with the blues and the greens. And then mixing them up with the warm tones of that orange, red, and the yellow. but trying not to get too busy with the colors that I'm adding so that I can play with my doodling um, without having to fight visually with everything that's in the background. So yeah, I hope you, you guys are using that hashtag to search around YouTube and find a whole bunch of new artists and um, creative minds out there who are crafters or creators of all different kinds of arts and inspiring videos to help us um, grow, you know, and, and as a community and grow as, as, as creative minds and enjoy the process of, of exploring new things that we haven't, maybe we haven't tried before. So we watch all of these new channels that we find through the hashtag and we get to try new things that we haven't tried and we're inspired by yeah. what everyone's sharing and maybe trying it on our own and making it our own version so so yeah i can't wait to see what everyone's going to be sharing and hopefully i'll be able to make more than this elephant but yeah i tend to work on things in different layers so this process sharing might take me a little bit longer than the one the way I used to share things before. <laughs> so hopefully you like it. Let me know what you think. And this is how he looks now that I've added all those colors to his background and even to his little toes. <laughs> and I'll be going on to part two for the next video where I will share my metallic jelly roll pens hopefully i'll be working with those in this next step so thanks for watching and besitos everyone thanks for stopping by